For more on the changing face of that industry, we are talking to a pioneer of private space flight. Ten years ago, Dennis Tito became the world's first space tourist, paying space adventures $20 million for the trip. Now, he's a rocket scientist by training, and he's also a former NASA employee. And today, Tito is the CEO of Wilshire Associates. If you've heard of the Wilshire 5000, and I'm sure you have, there is the architect of it. Welcome, Dennis. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. Great to be here. So you paid $20 million for that trip back in 2001. Tell us, was it worth it? Well, first of all, I paid it to the Russians, not Space Adventures, and it was worth every penny of it. Let me ask you this, and this is where it gets very confusing. There are a number of companies now that are in this space. At what point, in this space quite literally, but at what point are they profitable and who's getting paid for what? We just heard about some of the government contracts. Well, they're startup firms and they're not yet profitable, but uh, I think the industry itself will be, become a very profitable uh, enterprise. What will make it profitable, though? I mean, there are very few people that really can, even if they could afford to pay $20 million, that would probably choose to pay $20 million. In your, in your investigation into this space and your own personal interest, are you seeing that there's some way to make this an affordable trip for most people? Well, it will be uh, extremely affordable. I think uh, within uh, 10 years, the price will come from now 50,000 down to uh, 50 million, I'm sorry, uh, down to 5 million. And that will greatly expand uh, the number of people that will be able to afford it. So I see uh, as soon as the volume increases, uh, you will see uh, hundreds, maybe more than that, fly each year. And the uh, profitability will then uh, develop. Is there any company, Dennis, that stands out to you? I mentioned Space Adventures. You know, there are a number of very many well-known names and faces in there, like Elon Musk. We've got Richard Branson, Jeff Bezos. Any of these companies stand out to you as really um, at the vanguard of this? Well, I think um, Richard Branson with Virgin Galactic is obviously, uh, you know, the one that has uh, gotten the most publicity, rightfully so, because uh, they now have a vehicle that is very close to uh, carrying passengers to space on a suborbital flight. And uh, there's going to be a lot of people, in my view, that are going to take advantage of that opportunity. Secondly, uh, Elon Musk, who uh, is following very closely will provide a very different opportunity and that will namely be orbital uh, flight for both uh, individ private individuals as well as uh, astronauts and I think that will become available within uh, the next five years at least. All right, Dennis, unfortunately we have to end it there, but I do appreciate you joining us today. That was Dennis Tito, CEO of Wilshire Associates and the world's first space tourist back in 2001, paying $20 million for a trip with the Russians, by the way. Okay, coming up.